Hello everyone, Coach Daxter Dare here for Weaponized Boxing, where we take uh, boxing concepts and fundamentals and translate them to uh, weapons fighting, particularly knife fighting, stick fighting, and improvised weapons. Okay? Uh, first off, again, I'd like to thank uh, Wicked Active Gear and Wicked Fightwear for my Technical Fabric shirt, fully breathable, dry fit material. You can find the links to their stores in the description below, wickedactivegear.com and Wicked Active Gear in Lazada. Right? Uh, so today, we're going to take up um, how to weaponize your punches with the use of a hatchet. Okay? Uh, here I have a, a very nice training hatchet made of yakal wood. This was uh, chiseled, uh, hand chiseled, hand carved by my friend Patrick Hoson. Very beautiful job, just look at that. Anyway, Pat, if you're watching, thank you for this. This is going to be put to good use. Okay, so a short review on uh, some of the parts of the hatchet that we're going to use. All right. So the top part, okay, is known as the eye, okay, and then this would be the toe, the bit, the blade. It's called the bit. This is the heel. Okay? This is the belly. Down here is the throat, and this end here is the knob okay now the way to weaponize your punches would be you put this on your lead hand or the right hand you know if you recall when we deal with weapons okay our weapon hand is in the front generally speaking okay you can also put it in the rear depending on your preference your style all right or the situation okay but for our purposes we're going to keep this in the lead hand okay and our grip okay will not be uh, on the throat, or at least we won't start that way. It will be in the belly, all right? Very near the blade, okay? Now why this is so we can maximize our punching motions. So basically, uh, two of the, uh, of the punches that you can utilize for the hatchet, okay? Would be a jab, so since our hand is in the lead, jab, and the hook, okay? So hit to the face, to the body okay now how that looks like with Bob here all right so here remember your hand is in the belly okay very near the bit okay punch 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 okay so you can punch engaging with the bit boom okay so that would be the jab for the hook you can either utilize the eye okay or the toe Okay, so you can use the eye to hit the bony part of his face, okay, the cheek, the temple, okay, behind the ear, boom, right, any bony part, boom, okay, or you can hook, hit the uh, the uh, soft parts, okay, of his face with the heel, okay, the sharp part, okay? so you can go for the cheek, okay, go for the eye, okay, for the neck, okay, for that cutting motion okay and as you follow through boom you can go back hit with the heel boom across the throat okay or as you follow through you can hit with a bit okay and for this okay for both cases you can assist your hand your weapon hand with your free hand so as you follow through boom okay, boom and from here, you can follow up with another hook, okay, with the rib, again using the eye, boom, and to the face, boom. Okay. So again, in one motion, we go jab, boom, okay, we go hook, boom, assist, boom, hook, hook, okay. Now to add to the versatility of your weapon, okay, so you can transition from holding the belly, okay, you can hit your... Uh, you can hit the knob on your uh, on your hip or your leg, boom, and hold it at the throat, and now you have a range weapon. Okay, so again, from a uh, a close quarters weapon, okay, you can have a little bit of range by holding it at the throat, and from this point, okay, you can do hacking motions with your ones and twos, okay, boom, as you would with a stick or a baton. Okay, now 
uh, you can use a hatchet or you can even use a hammer, okay? Depending on what is available, right? But hatchet, okay? Very useful in weaponizing your punches, okay? Try that.